Oh, wow. All right. So what is up, y'all? My RV park is behind me, and right over here behind me now is a uh, really, really nice looking body of water. Oh my goodness, this is a beautiful sight, dude. So that is some fresh water, I believe, from the mountains. You can see it's like a little bit different of a color. That is looking good. This whole thing is looking good. There's an island out there. We could wade up here, we could wade down. There are supposed to be a lot of different fish here too. We're just gonna try to see what the heck is going on. So if you're not familiar with the channel, my name is Mike, I live in an RV, travel full time, and uh, fish a lot. I'm from Delaware, but today we are in Tennessee near the Smoky Mountains. So that means that there could be trout here, smallmouth, and just anything you could think of, man. Last video, we cooked into something that I did not, I didn't even know lived here. I'm just gonna stop talking about it. I'm so freaking excited. Let's get rigged up and let's uh, see what we can freaking do, man. I'm excited about this one. All right, so we got a bag full of stuff. Right now, I have tied on a tiny little paddle tail. I actually got this at the world's biggest Bass Pro Shops, if you guys didn't see that video. Crazy freaking video, but this is what they came in. This is a power bait, I don't even, the power swimmer. These things, were the worst package, like they came in a clamshell, and, and I don't know if you can see here, they're stapled on both sides, so I freaking, it was so hard to open, then I did, they just flew everywhere. What the frick, power bait. <laughs> but yeah, man, this is what we're gonna go with first, and this just looks so freaking good right here. So we got our waiting boots on, and the fish are waiting for us. Now look, right here, you see those? See all those tiny little bait fish? It's kind of what we're gonna be trying to imitate with this. It, it literally is perfect. Just like a little bit more white. All right. Start doing a little bit of casting. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Jumping. Oh. It's right there. It's right there. First cast. First cast. He jumped our lure out of its mouth. Okay. So that exactly. Look at this, man. This is textbook fishing. When you see especially water like this, just like fresh moving water coming into a freaking river, a creek like this, this is just textbook. There's gonna be some fish hiding out, literally waiting for something like this just to smoke it. It's a perfect ambush point. Oh my God, I cannot believe that was that fast. Okay, well we're gonna keep doing that. That wasn't a bad one either. I didn't know what it was. It freaking hit like a truck. Dang, that was crazy, man. That's exactly, exactly where they should have been. There's one. There's there's a fish. That's a good. Oh, felt better. I think that he might actually be. Look at that water, dude. I'm skiing him. Whew. All right, second one of. Well, I guess technically first one of the day here. It's a smaller one for sure. Beautiful, man. Thank you so much. <sighs> this is the spot. Literally, this was like not even a two minute walk from my RV park. Uh oh, there's some kayakers to the left of me. Maybe I should drop in here. Looks like they got a fishing rod. So, you know, that is one thing, like when I go kayak fishing, I tend to like let people, you know, don't have access to the whole everything because they're not kayaking, have like a, you know, a little bit of more space, especially if they're already at a spot, but it's cool. I don't mind. I'm, I'm not sharing right now. It's fine. It's fine. I do not own the water. I really wish something else would smack this. We got those two pretty quick bites. It's been a little bit later and uh, it's definitely now a little bit slower. I was gonna go wade upstream. I don't know. Oh, that was a fish.
So it seems as if a little swim bait dude bite died down. These fish may be onto us. But we're gonna switch it up here. Um, I don't know, I have these little worms and then I have, I think we'll throw this on first actually. This is like a little Helgramite thing. If you guys saw the last video, you know. It's just another natural forage that realistically like could be in nature sliding down a little water in source like that. So there we go, something like that. I don't even think we're really gonna work it this much, like jig it gonna cast it out they came down from the mountains themselves from the fishing gods straight to you. oh literally first cast that's what I'm saying man sometimes you gotta match the hatch we were matching the minnows then I think they caught on to us this is just literally too good right here Apparently like the real life halger mites are like candy to these creek fish. So that's all I'm really gonna do right now is just kind of float it. Cast it up there. Sure it doesn't snag. There's a good fish. That's a good fish. I literally just dropped it right in. Oh my gosh, that's a good smallie. That's a good smallie. Oh, dude, he's got one with him, too. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh, by my feet. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That river does not help me. Okay. Whoo, whoo. Yes. Let's freaking go, dude. And this is just what I'm talking about. They were literally bypassing. There we go. They were bypassing the swim bait. Dude, that's a good smallmouth. I'm going to take a picture of that. That is absolutely freaking gorgeous oh a fish right there man i need i don't even have my phone all right we'll take a picture like this the good lighting oh my gosh dude Whew, thank you so much buddy oh, oh, oh. freaking hell everybody i literally just dropped it in See, this is where I just don't understand some certain things, right? So this is a clam that is still alive. Whoa, dude, he scared me. He freaking spat out a little bit. Can you eat these? Please let me know down in the comments below. I'm sure some fish would like to eat that, right? Like if I broke that open, let me know. Put him right back. I just kind of dug him out like he was a little bit out. Whew, I'm sure you could probably tell, but... Uh, We've been fishing this spot. I mean, how can I leave, man? I want to do more exploring around this area. I wanted to go downstream, but uh, some kayakers that kind of were up here a little bit, they went down that way. I could walk up there. There's, I think, something really cool that I want to check out, but it's getting kind of darker. I think we're going to put all of our force and energy into this spot for the time being, at least. I don't know what's going to happen. This is, I actually got these on sale, so go me. These are Finesse TRD, Canada Crawls, you all know, man, the freaking turd. This is my probably my favorite all-time favorite all creek fishing lure and rig. This is a Ned Rig. If you're not familiar, basically, there's a Ned Rig jig head or a bed rig, whatever you call it. This kind of goes on the bottom like this, and this little turd-looking dude floats. Nobody is quite sure 
what exactly is supposed to replicate? A turd, a crawfish, a fish fish. Shout out to a clam dude over there again. All I know is though that this is like, man, this is probably my favorite creek fishing setup of all time. And the fish just freaking love it. So we're gonna see if they love it here. We're gonna try to catch some more something. I have a good feeling about this, man. The Ned Rig always is a good option. Creeks, ponds, rivers. No. Whoa, look at this. So I just snagged a uh, branch because I'm an expert caster. And this branch, let me just get my Ned Rig out. It has other lures on it. Oh boy, where's my line even? All right, so look at this. On these branches I just pulled out, that looks like a rebel crawfish or something similar, which is a freaking amazing creek lure. I like the cricket one, but the crawfish one's good. And then big freaking, oh, this thing looks like it's been there forever. Look at this. Joe's flies 3.5. This is so big and they even have, look, they've got a snap on it and then a swivel. It's so big and long. Oh, 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 on the crank, on the crank. I switched floors. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Dude, these dudes are so strong. Hey, you're my good luck charm. Kelsey came by with the bike. All right, don't come off. I'm gonna need those pliers. Oh, so what's really freaking cool about this, hook came out of his mouth, but another trouble's got him. All right, I don't know what number that is for the day. Oh, they're so pretty though cool huh so the cool thing about that guy let me let him go I just caught that I switched over to a moving bait this is actually the crankbait that I won from the claw machine in Shields in Texas now we just caught a freaking creek fish in uh, eastern Tennessee in the freaking Smoky Mountains super freaking cool man let's go see I, I was wondering because all the baits I kind of threw were not really moving type baits maybe this will get them like fired up a little bit I know there's still more in here <laughs> it's just too good of a spot it's ah oh man it's beautiful There's a fish. Whoa. I'm literally fishing the wrong way. What is that? Ah. Another smallie. Cool. Boom. I'm literally fishing the wrong way. <laughs> 